But you remember, Noriega used to work for Bush. When Bush was over the CIA. You remember that they were selling dope all over the world, and they still do. The soldier boy almost let it all out. Ali North. Uh, they thought he was. This devil, they use Air Force jets and planes to move dope all over the world. And to interfere in governments all over the world. Bush was over the CIA. They kill leaders anytime they get ready and put their puppet in power. Right. Now you ask me what I think about the one they putting in there, I know they got control over him or they wouldn't put him in. Right. They killed, I mean, they, they dethroned, uh, deposed Mohammed Mossadegh in 1954 in Iran. Killed thousands of Iranian people in the streets so they could get the Shah in power. Salvador Allende. Patrice Lumumba. Used uh, to Shambe and uh, say say Mobutu. Yes. Deposed Osage for Kwame Nkrumah. Interfered with Azikwe in Nigeria, Murtala Muhammad and others. This is the devil. This is his way. Who is he? So, brother, I would be careful how I judge this Panama thing. The white man is too strong on putting his message out there. So it's more to it. And if this man lives and they put him in the wrong position, he'll tell things on this president of the United Snakes that they don't want to come out. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's hurry, please. Yes. I hate to hurry because we don't get together like this but once a week. Hell, we 400 years behind everybody in one sense and 6,000 years behind in another sense. And we're trying to build a movement. You know? Yes, sir. Would you get me the information on uh, the funeral on Wednesday? I see our sister here, our beloved sister here. I need that information up here. Yes, sir. And sister, we want you to know that we are your family and that we are with you and that we love you and that we back you and support you in every way. And if there are other funeral arrangements that still need to be made and you need further assistance, some has already been extended, but if you need further assistance, then let us know that today before you leave. Do we love her? Yes, sir. And you lose the fruit of your womb. When you lose one of your children, that's a time when you need the rest of the family to put their arms around you and to comfort you and to be there for you. And we want to be there for her. The sisters should go out. She shouldn't have to do anything at a moment like this. Her washing should be done. Her cooking should be done. Her errands to the store and other places. That's a sisterhood. Yes. Step right in and do everything that has to be done. Just take it from her so she doesn't have to have that burden on her during this time and to be there to comfort her. That's a sisterhood. Yes, sir. Please, brother, get the tape of Minister Wazir before leaving today. Brother's question is, what is the Nation of Islam's position on land and reparations? Is it heavy? Give him my hand for that question. Give him my black hand. Is that a final call, newspaper? Any final call? A final call, newspaper? Here's one right here. Thank you, sir. Nation of Islam's position on land is number one. I'm sure you already know that, because I know you. The Nation of Islam's position on land is that land is the basis of independence. You ain't got no independence if you ain't got no land. You can't fight for a seat on the toilet so you can sit down in the toilet moaning and groaning and straining in the, in the toilet stall trying to integrate the toilets next to white folk, smelling integrated fumes filling the bathrooms. That's not our position. Integrating the water fountain and the front seat of the bus. And hell, get your own bus. 
and then let the white man worry about whether you're going to let him sit on the front seat. Huh? Get your own hotel. What's wrong with that? Get your own banks, your own savings and loans. What's wrong with that? Your own schools, hospitals. Land is the basis of independence. That's why we are called the nation of Islam. Because we believe that black people must have a nation of their own. We must have some of this good earth that we can call our own. We don't believe in the promised sky. We believe in the promised land. We don't believe in the thereafter. We believe in the hereafter. And here means in this place and after is at a future time. And we're there on the threshold right now. What is our position on reparations? And I'll be Elijah Muhammad and what the Muslims want and what the Muslims believe. He says he want our pe he want we want our people in America whose parents or grandparents were descendants from slaves to be allowed to establish a separate land, state, or territory of their own, either on this continent or elsewhere. We believe that our former slave masters are obligated to provide such land and that the area must be fertile and minerally rich. We believe our former slave masters are obligated to maintain and supply our needs in this separate territory for the next 20 to 25 years until we are able to produce and supply our own needs. Since we cannot get along with them in peace and equality after giving them 400 years of our sweat blood and receiving in return some of the worst treatment human beings have ever experienced, we believe our contributions to this land and the suffering forced upon us by white America justifies our demand for complete separation in a land, state, or territory of our own. Uh, was that a little clear on our position on land and preparation? All praise is due to Allah. Are there any other questions as we close out? My brother, sisters, you have any questions? Wa alaikum salam, sir. Brothers, question is, can you be a Sunni Muslim and be with the nation of Islam. First of all, there's really only one kind of Muslim. And the only kind of Muslim is a Muslim Muslim. When Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may peace be upon him, when he was here, he didn't know nothing about no Sunni Muslim, no Shia Muslim, no Hanafi Muslim, no Ahmadiyya Muslim, no Bilalian Muslim. He didn't know anything about any of that. There was just one Muslim. That's all. Muslim, again, we have gone over what it meant a few minutes ago. But in terms of your question, can you be in the nation of Islam and still be a Sunni Muslim per se? Yes, sir, you can be. Uh, there is nothing that would stop you from doing that. You can be in the Urban League and be a Muslim. You can be in the NAACP and be a Muslim. You can be a member of the All-African People's Revolutionary Party and still be in the Nation of Islam. You can be a member of NAPO, the New African People's Organization, and still be a member of the Nation of Islam. You can be a member of the Black Liberation Army and still be a member of the Nation of Islam. You can come straight in from the Black Guerrilla family and still be a member of the Nation of Islam. You can be a blood and be a member of the Nation of Islam. You can be a crip and be a member of the Nation of Islam. This is your nation. It belongs to you. But you can't be no fool to be a member of the nation of this land. Malik the Sheep does not necessarily agree with the content of the preceding, nor does Malik the Sheep necessarily go along with particular terms that were used in the preceding. So therefore, based on this disclosure, don't attempt to hold me accountable for the things said, done, or implied by the preceding. With that in mind, peace. Talk to you next time.